For a moment, we're disoriented because we don't know each other, right? So um, he sits down, I sit down on the bed beside each other, and I say to him, I just want to sit beside you for a bit. I've done this before in the last, in this other bathhouse video, which I'm going to make later on. Um, so, but there's a whole different feeling. He just looked at me. He had these most beautiful eyes. He had a beautiful face, too. He's a good looking guy. Um, but so gentle and waiting. He was just waiting for me, right? He was just waiting. I could feel it. He was like waiting for me. But he wasn't, he wasn't feeling like impatient. He was just waiting. He was sitting there. Um, like, you know how you can feel it? You can read the energy in the room and you're like, okay, you gotta say something. There was none of that. He was just sitting there. A beautiful man in his towel. And so I had this free time. And so I'm in a rush, right? Because I'm going to, I'm trying to get hook up with as many guys as possible. But this weird moment came over me just like, it just hushed. It's like, calm down. Just calm down, Sam. You made it. You're here. You're, you're in Chicago. You're at the bathos of your dreams that you always wanted to go to. Um, you looked up online. You did the work. You're here. You survived. And I, it was a journey just to get there, man. Like, anyways. <laughs> I was crying in my, my room, I felt alone. It was just this weird thing that came over me. It was hard going from the flight. It was just hard to explain the emotions I've been going through. And it's like, why? But it's a hard, it's, I've been going through a lot of work before this, all these things. So all that was gone and I was just in the moment with you guys right now on this camera and I looked at him and he looked at me and Man, he knew. He knew what I felt, you know? He knew. He knew I wasn't bringing all that shit in, in the room with him, but he knew, you know, but... So he takes his towel off. <laughs> um, and yeah, man, he's beautiful, you know? And it's such a weird feeling, because I was going through so much, so much shit before that moment, you know? That's why I was rushing, I'm so excited, and I'm, in this moment I'm just like, I'm peaked, you know? I'm peaked, like I'm super stoked. And I'm, and I'm just, I'm not, even, I'm not even like taking a deep breath or anything, I'm just, in, internally there's so much going on, but I'm so calm at the same time, we're just sitting there, we're not saying anything. And I look at his body and I'm just grateful that, you know, that he's beautiful in the sense that, I like, I like someone who appreciates or who has the time to take care of their, their, their appeal, I guess. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not judging anyone. I, there's all different body types and whatnot, but it was just a great moment because I took, it, took, it took a lot for me to get to that place and to work out and I always worry about, you know, my weight and stuff, and anyways, so he took, he, he took his towel off, and he, he, he was waiting for me, he stood up, he looked in my eyes, he stared in my eyes, I stared in his, and I said, so I took control automatically, that's who I am, I'm dominant, so I laid him down on the bed, and I spread his cheeks, and I, <laughs> I took a moment before I even did anything. He looked up, he looked back at me, and I said, I just wanna, I just wanna, I'm just gonna role play. I just wanna, he's sitting right here, that's what I said to him. I said, I just wanna, um, I just wanna look at you, man. It's been so long since I've been with someone, and someone beautiful like you. I just, I just wanna be here with you in this moment. And I almost felt like I wanted to lay beside him and just sit in his energy, but I didn't because I didn't have so much time. So, and he didn't mind at all. He said, you're cute as fuck, man. He's like, you're beautiful. And he started kissing me. And I didn't want to kiss him right there. But I went with it because I didn't care because I was out of time. And so I'm kissing this man. And I'm kissing this guy. And I'm feeling his body. And, he's, and then he starts just going all over me. But not like over the top, just touching me slowly, you know. And I'm, I'm just feeling his arm, you know. Seeing his definition and his size and his butt, man. Holy shit. I mean, what I love about men is that every man has a different body. No matter, and it's, it's not like an eye roll, like, okay, this is dramatic. It's every man has a different body. I've noticed with all the guys in the bathhouse, you know, they may be the same size, but they always have something different. There's always something unique about every person. This guy's hips was a little bit different, and the way his, his left cheek 
was turned in, it was beautiful, beautiful. And these things I couldn't tell him, but I was feeling it inside. I was seeing it, you know, I was observing it, I was touching it. I think he knew because he felt what I was feeling, you know. We were in that moment.